Hey, let's do oh, that's my back. Let's do some nail art. Good day, my sweet, amazing friends. Today we are doing a little nail toot. On this look, I posted a picture on Instagram and you guys said, yes, 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 give me the toot. So the toot shall be yours. So this is the base that we are starting out with, some basic white nails, a little accent nail, and the dots are on there because I'll tell you why in a minute. So these are the shades that we're using, Wedding Gown White from Glisten and Glow, SE Licorice, which is my favorite black nail polish ever, Orly Summer Fling, which is a beautiful like neon peach, Skinny Dip, also from Orly, one of my favorite blues ever. It has a tiny bit of shimmer in it. Glisten and Glow Watermelon and Water Slides, that is the accent nail. Barbecue and Ball Games, so neon and so summer. And then Banjo Bling, one of my creations from Different Dimension. So we're just jumping right in. So do your white base and then I almost do like a dry brush on the tip. You honestly can't mess this up. I feel like I say that all the time. But that's why abstract manis are good because you can't really mess them up. So you just want to kind of alternate your colors. You can do four colors, you can do seven colors, whatever you want to do. And just give a little blob on the tip of the nail. You can see how I'm doing it. This was a weird angle. My apologies. It does get better, I promise. So I used four colors. I think on the other nail I used five. Maybe I'm wrong. But just kind of blob them on there beside each other. It looks insane at this point. You're like, I'm not doing this right. This looks terrible. Stick with me. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on my middle finger. And I just kind of switched up the color placement a little bit. But um, there's not much to this. Just make sure you don't have too much polish on your brush. You want to... Um, really get like 80% of the polish off your brush so you really have to like kind of dry brush it on there because you don't want it to be a blob of polish. You kind of want to, you know, just just kind of abstractly place it. Is that even a, a yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a word. So anyway, once you get all your colors on, I did do five but only four colors. Once you get your colors on, get a little dotting tool. You can use a bobby pin, you can use a toothpick, whatever you have. And just make some little black dots here and there, wherever you see fit. I like to do it on either side of the nail. Oh, and by the way, you guys, this design is inspired by an amazing Instagram channel that I follow. I will put her channel down below. She is so talented. Make sure you guys go follow her. Um, Adel I don't know how to say her name. I, I know I'm going to say it wrong, but I will put it on the screen. She is incredible. This was totally inspired by her. Um, so just do your little black dots. And you could even do like some black dots in the middle rather than on the side. This is strictly for inspiration. Do with it as you see fit. Um, yeah, this is a much better angle. Wow. Good job, Nicole. You're coming around, girl. So once you get your little dots on there, you can take whatever sparkly polish you're using. And again, make sure you don't have like a big blob of polish on your brush. You just kind of want to dab it on there. Just get a little bit of sparkle somewhere on the nail. I chose to do it in the middle. You could put it, you could put it anywhere to be honest. And once we get that on, we're going to, okay, we're just gonna put a little bit more on. <laughs> we're gonna take our black nail polish and just make a little, like a swipe. Don't make it too perfect. You want it to look like it kinda just fell on your nail. That's the beauty of abstract. And I made mine a little bit different, but still kind of like sisters, not twins. You know where I'm going with this. So once we get that on, I grab a bigger dotting tool and I'm making just two black dots. Again, anywhere on the nail, I chose to do it right under our colors. But again, you could do three. You could not do this at all. You could do them in a different color. That would be kind of cute. Um, but I chose to put them right there. A little different, but still sisters, not twins. Okay. So then I took my small dotting tool and I just wanted to add a few dots here and there. So just kind of eyeball your nail, see where 
things are looking a little like, oh, I, I need a little pop in this spot. And that's what I'm doing. Just, you know, filling in some sparse areas. And once I get that done, we are pretty much done. I'm, oh my God, I'm still dotting, girl. Um, yeah, but don't those dots look so cute? Like they totally make it. I could never get enough dots in my life. Like, what? It's so cute. Oh, so, oh my God, excuse me. So I'm just cleaning up right now with some acetone. The reason my um, ring finger is done is because I filmed this previously and I hated the way it turned out, so I refilmed it. All I did on my ring finger is a couple little black dots. Here's the top coat we're using, the top coat that I always use, Glisten Glow, the best top coat, especially for nail art. It will not smudge your nail art. And I didn't wait long to top coat. I waited maybe five minutes. I'm telling you, it is the best top coat for nail art. I, I just love it. I can't stress to you enough, like I'm sending vibes through my camera right now about how good it is. Hopefully you are receiving them. So once we top coat, I like to go, oh, okay, we're top coating everything. I mean, of course you wanna top coat everything. Um, once we're done with that, I like to do a little cleanup just to make sure, like if I got any, ac not acetone, any top coat on my skin, I just like to wipe it off. And we be done. That's it, you guys. It's so simple. Make sure you tag me in your pictures. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a short one. But I love you guys. I will see you soon with a new video. Mwah. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would be like a cute picture actually. Uh thumbnail. Move this guy right here. Move this guy right here. These guys can get out of the way. Hey, this looks kinda cute. Look, right there. Oh bitch, what? Wait, I think I just came up with my thumbnail, bitch! Okay, I'm feeling it. Now this, <laughs> wow, she's looking a hot mess. We should do something with this hand. Nah, she's fine. What just happened? Oh, that was easy. I fixed it. Oh. You know what? You know what my kids do, and they think it's really funny to do? They will send me emojis, just like random ass emojis, and I'm supposed to like figure out what they're trying to tell me. Emma always does it, and now Hunter has begun. So far, today, in the past like 10 minutes, he has sent me, stay with me, he has sent me the, let's see, uh, the guy with, like, a face palm, a skull and crossbones, a man swimming, the poop emoji, and now he just sent me the little dancing guy in, like, the black, like, Michael Jackson, like, black suit. What? I mean, what am I supposed to take from this, my child? Do you need help? Do you need money? Or do you just need love? <sighs> Goodness gracious. Okay, so, oh my god, we're still dotting? Jesus, Nicole, how? Oh, I can't, <laughs> I forgot I was recording. <gasps> oh, kill me now. We're gonna have to start over. Wait, why is that not adding on? Tell me I'm gonna have issues again and I swear I'm gonna pick this computer up and chuck it out the window. Chuck. Chuck Taylor this bitch out the window.